Hi guys, welcome back to the channel here on Jared Gunson TV. Um, you'll notice over here I have my pedal board, which I'm trying to build. Um, about eight months ago, the ME90 uh, rocked up and I was busy trying to get it ready to take with me to Abu Dhabi to play some shows. Um, but I ran out of time. So I just took my trusty GX100, but I feel it's time for this one to now go get some uh, travel time. And also, we got the new Boss NS1X that arrived this week as well. So I figured um, no better time than now to wire it all up and make it look sexy, if you know what I'm saying. So um, in the meanwhile, I'm going to try one of these. You probably know all about solderless cables and all that sort of thing, but it would be a first for me. So, spot you guys in a second. All right, are you ready to see the mess of the pedal board that I currently have? Now, keep in mind, I just grabbed whatever short cables I had to test to make sure that I'm happy with the way the noise gate's working and to test the sound of this and I really like the sound of this unit now. There it is. Feel free to shame me in the comments. So we got a uh, WL60, which seemed to be the most reliable unit I could take over there. I've got a Lakato WS70, I think it is, uh, as a backup unit in case the 2.4 gets out of hand. We're running this in four cable method into this and the noise gate is working beautifully so the way that we're going to wire this up is wireless is going to go to the input of the ns1x ns1x output is going to go to the effects return over here somewhere it's one of these two the send of the effects return is going to come to the return of here and the send of here is going to go to the input over here and then the only thing we have left is the jack output, which goes to front of house. Just going to start unplugging a few things. So obviously these are just way too long, but I might use these to sort of measure out the length I need. I'll pop those up there for now. There's another one. There's another one. This one was almost right, but just a little bit on the short side. Put that there. Yeah, the power is in. We pop the power out of all these units as well. Try and do this as neatly as possible. This is always a problem for me because uh, I've had to connect a few of these daisy chains over the years. But it would be quite nice if I could just sort of hide it away. Okay, I'll put that back now. And we're also going to hear what this sounds like. This will get its own dedicated video, but um, so far, very impressed. Get duct tape. <laughs> yeah, if I need more, I'll grab that.
Okay, I think one more piece should do that. One more piece. Okay, and that doesn't really bother me because the pedal is going to cover that. Probably Velcro this down a bit later. And I'm going to do the same for these. I'll also Velcro them down. Okay, so that is the vibe. Now, let's see what we get in here. Should be 10 feet of cable. Probably an easier way to do this. Okay, and then she comes out like that. Yeah, let's see what these jacks, what these jacks feel. Oh, the jacks, I thought were plastic by the image. These feel quite nice. You can see you got your little pin over there. And they provide you with one of these. And then obviously the cable. So let's start with oh yes, and then obviously oh. wire cutter as well. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was one thing I wanted to check before I start one of these. I want to see how deep this goes in. Maybe three moles, maybe. So let's start with one of these. 
let's start with this guy. I would probably want my cable to go like this, like this, and then lock in about there. So, if we take this cable, we line it up to the jack point, and give it maybe an extra little there. About that long. Now let's try this guy out. Okay, that cuts pretty easy. So now we got this piece of cable. As I've seen a few guys use these online. If you look inside, you can see that the pin is still, um, the pin is down. So we're gonna loosen that up and then uh, see if we can make our first cable. Okay, and I have seen guys they do a sort of twisting motion. I'm not sure if that actually does anything or not. Okay, we are in. And what they do say is do not over tighten. Just do it up to the uh, So that the screw doesn't stick out. So probably about there. It looks right to me. Okay. And now we shall try the other side. Take another jack. Oh, wait, first, loosen up. I'm just looking down the barrel to make sure I don't loosen too far. Just looking out actually a little bit on the long side. So what I might do is just snip a little bit off. I'm gonna snip off as much as I think I should. I'm just gonna make it a little bit shorter. Yeah, that's it. shaky hands my cross the bear okay that's why I went for solderless <laughs> and that would be cable number one yeah, let's plug it in and tap it, see if it works. I'm pretty sure 
pretty sure you heard that. What I think I'm going to do is unplug this power and plug it in once the cables are down. Okay, so let me just double check my routing. Wireless 2, input. is the output to the return. So all I'm doing is just uh, measuring by hand like that. Thing. We loosen up the uh, loosen up the jack. May as well do two of them while I'm here. Push that in. Now if you don't have shaky hands, be grateful, guys. No, I'm not an alcoholic. flush next one <laughs> this one was just right just right Test it. That is a yes. Hmm. 
हैं I mean, I could go under and all that stuff, but I foresee myself needing to get to these cables. Should anything ever go wrong? Okay, next, send to the return. Whew. Is all these going to fit next to each other? Just send. What I am going to do with this one is make it a little bit longer. So that's how long this cable is. But because I need to twist them, I'm going to need a bit more cable. So, maybe about that. I just don't want to run out of cable. <laughs> Okay, let's go. And if I have any cable left, I might redo this one um, because I prefer that jack facing the other way or this one facing the other way. That's the send. Needs to go to the return. Right here. That's all right. I didn't test it though. I feel like I could make this one a little shorter.
in the early day. Okay, and since those are the only two going in, we can plug the power back in now. That should hold those down there. Definitely Velcro this one because I can feel it pulling just a bit. This one's fine. Uh, there's one more cable to be done, which is the output of this. No, sorry, the send of this needs to go to the input of this. Okay. Trying not to over tight these, tighten these, uh, but still get it in line with the, uh, get it sort of flush. It's actually okay. A little bit, but I think I can just cable tie these together just to further neaten them up. Yeah, let's see if we got enough cable to just remake this one. I mean, this is a perfectly good cable. It's just I want the jacks to be this way.
You know what? I might just leave that cable because it's thinner. Seems to work the job. And this is how much cable I've got left. Still enough to make a few, but I've only got two jacks left. All right, let me go get some cable ties. I have returned with the cable ties and scissors. Let's have a look here, shall we? Probably just use little ones like that. Cable tie there. How do you like them apples, eh? Boom! Done! I like that a lot. I think that's very neat, very cool. I just got to add some Velcro to the bottom of these. That's just to keep these ones. I don't want the wires going underneath the pedals. Like that. I want to keep the wires on top like that. That looks great. Now, does it all work? Okay, we ready? <sighs> okay, are we ready to see if this all works? <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
think it's safe to say that it definitely works. The cables look great. Uh, it's nice and neat. Um, this one, I'm definitely going to Velcro down. This one feels nice and secure, so I don't think I need to. And this one, I'm not going to, in case I need to put a wireless in the side, just should something happen, you know, with, with maybe I run out of batteries or the 2.4 network is a little too busy, then I can just pop in a um, that Locato unit that I've got, which is on the UHF frequency band. So that's it. That's my new pedal board, and I'm going to be touring with this uh, back to the UAE at the end of the month. So uh, let me know what you think of the sounds, because I think they sound really cool. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks again for tuning in.